Hello everyone and welcome to another one of my IT tutorials. In my previous Java video I showed you how to deploy Java using domain group policy and a lot of people asked me how would we install updates later and how to disable the automatic updater that comes with installation. Well now that the newer version of Java has been released I can answer both of those questions. So let's start like last time by getting the Java installation the link to the site will be included in the description of the video in case you don't know where to get it. I strongly recommend you to watch my first video as I may skip a few steps in this one since I already talked about them before. Okay, now remember we want to start the installation, but we don't actually want to run it. So leave this window open and go to your start menu, hit run, and type in percent sign app data percent sign. Then go one directory up to the application data, local now, sun, java, and the latest version, which is 7.04 and want to copy both of these to a shared location on your network. Uh, if you have file servers, you would probably want to put it there. If you don't, uh, you might want to create a shared location on your Active Directory. If you recall from our previous example, uh, we put these files in the shared location on Active Directory since we don't have a file server in the system. So let's just go there. Let's copy these. And the shared location was in C, Software, and we have JRE 7.3. So we just make a new one. 04. Could have just copied the folder, but all right. So we paste it here, and now we open our group policy management. Just here, or through administrative tools, group policy. And remember this group policy object, Java deployment. Yes. Now we don't want to create new ones since this is going to be an update. We just right click on the previous deployment, hit edit, once again go to software, software installations, new, package, I navigate to the new Java MSI file which is in the shared location, my explorer already defaulted to the shared location which is SBX ADDC with this computer's name and then software but we don't want acro read that was my adobe deployment we want java 704 and this msi now in this case we want instead of assigned we want to pick advanced then go to the upgrades tab as you can see, the installer already knows that we're going to be upgrading uh, the previous package that we have deployed, Java 7 Update 3. But if this screen was blank, like so, you would have to go to Add, and then the packages that you can possibly upgrade will be listed here. So you pick that package, and you can do Uninstall Existing Package, then Install the Upgrade Package, or the package can upgrade over the existing package. Uh, unless you know the package absolutely can upgrade over existing package, you should just pick uninstall. Might take a bit longer time, but it'll work for sure. And then you hit OK. Since this server is also a member of the domain, uh, this software installation should apply to it as soon as we restart. So let's do just that. Restart the server and see if it installs. Stand by. Alright, the server is starting, and right after applying computer settings, we should see Java being installed. And there you go. Uh, as we picked uninstall previous version and install new one, it's first removing Java Update 3. Oh, and in terms of this, uh, you have to keep the old MSI file in the shared location until all your systems remove the old version of Java. If you delete that MSI file, the uninstall will fail and probably the install of the new software will fail as well. So keep it there until you're sure that all your systems have uninstalled the old version. And if we check the control panel, we should see no more update 3 and 
only update 4 is there and there we go Java update 4 is there update 3 is gone All right. Removing automatic update for Java is not guaranteed to work 100% of the time since uh, Sun and now Oracle keep changing the way their updater works but there are two ways to do it. First we can add a registry entry which will attempt to disable the update and second is to remove the updater file itself. I'll show you how to do both of them through group policy management. So start group policy management, go to edit of Java deployment group policy go to computer configuration preferences Windows settings and let's do the removal of the file first this will guarantee it to work for sure so we create new file operation uh, instead of update we pick delete and the file is actually this it's percent sign program files open parentheses x86 close parentheses percent sign if you have 32-bit systems obviously you don't have to include the x86 uh, the rest of the path is common files java java space update ju check now a very peculiar thing happened here when i deployed this java installation it did not install an updater with it uh, I don't know if it's part of the MSI package or because it's a server but I can't navigate to this file using browse because this file just doesn't exist if it does exist in your systems uh, this will work just fine and we can pick this so that users don't get bothered by random errors hit OK and that's it uh, if you have both 32-bit systems and 64-bit systems you can just add two file operations and the second one would be also delete but instead of program files x86 you would just leave program files and suppress errors hit OK now the second one is creating the registry so it's gonna be new registry item create we want to create it in a local machine. Uh, the key path will be Java soft Java update policy. And the name is going to be enable Java update. The value type will be a D word and the value itself will be zero and then you hit OK. Alright, now that we have added this key you can exit out the group policy and you can be sure that the updater will not work. Now I didn't test this I'm pretty sure there are not going to be errors that the file is missing once you delete the JU check as many users online suggest that solution but feel free to comment and let me know if it worked for you. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and found this helpful. Like is always appreciated.